Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm doing a first impression and wear test on the brand new Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. So if you guys wanna know my thoughts, application, wear test, my thoughts and first impressions, then keep on watching. Let's get into this video. So a little information about this product. This is brand new launch from Rare Beauty. I did pick this up during the Sephora sale. And this is called the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. This retails for $29. You get one fluid ounce of product and it does come in a total of 24 shades. I really like the eco-friendly packaging that Rare Beauty has with their products. It comes in this really cute, just kind of standard box and you can recycle the packaging. The product itself comes in this really nice squeezy tube plastic container, so it is plastic. And it has just a really nice sleek design. This part here is really interesting, it's almost like kind of caved in, I guess because you can kind of like rip it has a screw off lid and this has a kind of like squeezy applicator it just comes out of this little spout here i did pick the shade 10n which is the lightest shade available so it does have a little number here at the bottom so packaging is really cute uh it has a little r at the top as well so really nice sleek design at first glance immediately just touching this and feeling it it's like that same kind of packaging what does it remind you of the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I mean, let me just hold these up side by side. I have done a review on this, by the way. I will link that down below or in the card if you guys wanna check it out. It's already up on my channel. So these are very, very similar products. So that's the Fenty one here, and this is the Rare Beauty. So very, very similar packaging. You can just squeeze it out very easily like onto your face or the back of your hand or a mixing palette. So the claims on this product, it says flexible tinted moisturizer claims to blur the skin with a glowy light to medium coverage. Hydrating best for dry combo or normal skin types. It's also paraben free and it does contain SPF 20. It does look like on the ingredients here that it's more of a chemical sunscreen than a zinc based one because the zinc oxide is only 0.9 percent i personally am not a huge fan of spf in makeup i really am not because you're going to apply an spf underneath your makeup already just for a personal preference i really don't care about spf in makeup because I, I put one on my face every day anyways so i want to go ahead and quickly swatch this next to the fenty one of course and a couple other skin tint tinted products i have as well so let me quickly do that and show you the shade ranges all right so here's a couple comparisons this one right here is from rare beauty in the lightest shade Next to it, I have the Fenty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint in the lightest shade number one. Here we have the Awe Studio Tinted Moisturizer with Vitamin C in the shade Fair. And then we have the ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer in Fair 1N. I feel like the Rare Beauty one is actually a really nice neutral undertone. Uh, the one from ColourPop matches me really well as well as the uh, Fenty one, but the Fenty one is a little light on me. So there's just a comparison With those products. I will say just watching the Fenty one next to the Rare Beauty one The formulas feel very very similar. So that's all the information about this product and swatches So let's get into application and my wear test. So let's get right into it All right, so let's go ahead and apply this to the face. I'm really excited to try this out so again, this is the shade 10N, which is the lightest shade available. Just for a reference, I am 35 years old. I do have more of a drier skin type. My skin is not oily at all. I definitely can get like dry patches. So yeah, um, my skin type is also very sensitive and I do break out very easily from ingredients and products. So hopefully this doesn't cause any issues. So I'm gonna give it a little shake and squeeze it out in the back of my hand. Comes out really nice and thick. Not sure how much I'm going to need, but very thick. It is running down my hand. So with these like first impression videos, I do like to use a brush and a sponge <laughs> just to kind of see how it performs. But if you're new here, I love a beauty sponge. I use it every time I apply any product, whether it's very sheer, like a tinted moisturizer or even a full coverage foundation. 
it just works for my dry skin. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Cosmetics Angled Buffing Brush. I've actually been liking this for cream products, like cream bronzer and whatnot. So I'm gonna use the brush on this side of my face and then a sponge on this side. I feel like this color is probably gonna be really good for me. It's very thick. I was expecting this to be a little bit more thin and liquid-like. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna take my damp Paw Paw Beauty Sponge. Right, so that is one even layer on this side of my face and no product on this side really interesting i feel like this already just a nice even layer it evened out my skin tone took away some of that redness and unevenness and it looks nice it looks very natural i did put quite a bit in the back of my hands so there's quite a bit of product here so i'm just gonna dab this on i'm trying to hurry up because my husband is coming home very soon <laughs> from the dentist and he's bringing lunch elf buffing brush let's see how this applies with a brush obviously a brush is going to give you more coverage so this actually applied really nicely with a brush and a sponge but again i'm noticing like some dryness showing up on my nose using a brush and that's why I typically don't use a brush because it just always ends up creating flakiness or texture. But let me tell you what, uh, if you do like using a brush to apply your tinted moisturizer with, you're going to get a lot more coverage. I feel like this side compared to this side, it did give me a decent amount of coverage. I'm actually really impressed. Uh, you know, when tinted products say that it's just like a skin tint and then ends up being a little bit more coverage, I think that's really great because you can kind of adjust to your liking and preference. I still have some left over on my hand, so I'm gonna apply a little bit more. See if we can build this up a little bit. I mean, I feel like this is plenty enough coverage for me, but I'm just curious to see how this builds up. All right, so that actually built up really nice. I'm gonna take, again, I still have quite a bit of pro I'm actually really liking how this isn't drying down really fast, so I'm able to like apply more, you know? Oh, so far, you guys, I'm loving how this is applying. All right, so that is two even layers on both sides. And I have to say, I like the color match. I like how it applied. Definitely prefer a sponge versus a brush. So let's get up close to the skin cam so I can show you my skin up close, no filters. So you can see how this looks on my skin. So I'm gonna go off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, see how it works with, you know, bronzer, blush, all that stuff over top. And I'll show you guys what it looks like with the rest of my makeup on. All right, guys, I am back. I went ahead and did the rest of my makeup. I did take a little break. It's actually been an hour since I last sat down. I went ahead and took a break, had some lunch. So here is what my skin looks like with a full face of makeup over top of the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. Let me get up close to the camera so you can get a look at my skin. So that was just an up close look at my skin. When I do look in my little mirror here, it, overall it does look pretty good. My skin looks healthy, has a little bit of a glow to it, uh, looks very natural. Now when I get up close, I do notice, of course, my nose is really patchy and it's getting even more patchy and flaky. And around my mouth, it did kind of wear off a little bit, like on my chin and that, because I was eating, I was trying not to make a mess. I, I that That is my trouble area, is around my mouth and my nose. I feel like products either will stay there kind of okay or they just look awful so that's like my struggle area that's where i tend to get the most wear off like makeup wears off everything blended okay over top of this product i didn't have any patchiness or issues i did use a lot of cream products today i used my fancy cream bronzer and so i just have a nice base going on and yeah i mean everything applied really nicely so i was happy with that it is currently 3.40 p.m. I'm going to try to wear this as long as humanly possible without 
<laughs> it being too late. Now this product does contain SPF 20. So let's, I'm gonna do a flash test. I don't, I know, I normally don't do this because sometimes it's kind of iffy. Let's see if I can do this with a flash. I'll pop up the picture on the screen with flash and without. I have to say it still looks really good. I don't think I look crazy or anything. <laughs> so I feel like if you wanted to wear this filming or taking photos, I don't think it would be like a huge flashback. Again, I'm really pale, so sometimes it's hard to see. So, all right, I'm gonna get off of here and quit gabbing. And I will do another check-in towards the end of the evening. And I will see you in a bit. All right, so I'm doing my first check-in <laughs> and I might try to do another one before I take my makeup off tonight, but it's already a little after 6.30, 6.32 p.m. So far, I am liking this tinted moisturizer from uh, Rare Beauty. I think it looks really good. I like how it looks in photos. I like how it looks on camera. So far, so good. It is settling a little bit into my smile lines around my mouth. Um, my forehead does look a little bit dry and again, I didn't set that area with any powder. I used cream products today like cream bronzer, cream blush. So I think it actually looks pretty good. I will say I think it's kind of performing similar to the Fenty Beauty one. I feel like formula wise it is a bit different though. This one again isn't as blurring, but it still looks pretty good. So, so far I'm pretty happy with how this is wearing. All right, final check-in, you guys. It's 10 p.m. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm ready to go wash this makeup off. So, um, it's been holding up pretty well. I've worn it for a total of 10 hours. So, final check-in before I go wash my face, get ready for bed. Definitely wore off pretty quick, like where I wear my glasses, around my nose, around my mouth. It came off pretty easily. Everywhere, everywhere else, like the perimeter of my forehead, everything looks fine. Like, my skin doesn't feel overly dry it still feels like you know pretty average so i'm kind of curious to test this out and wear it different ways and you know just see what works but first impressions i'm actually pretty impressed and i went to run some errands and i went into rite aid and someone complimented my makeup so i'm like okay rare beauty <laughs> got a little a little compliment so that's just my final check-in hopefully you can Get an idea of how it looks, how it wears. I already pulled my lashes off, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm ready to call it a night. Bronzer stayed on nice, blush, you can still see my highlight. Not too shabby. Way to go, Rare Beauty. Hopefully, uh, the more I use it, the more I love it. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my first impression trying out the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. Tell me in the comment section down below, have you guys tried this product yet? What are your thoughts? I want to know. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I post every week talking about cruelty-free beauty and sometimes some lifestyle things and fashion here and there. And if I'm not on here, you can definitely follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, all that stuff. My links are always down below. Thank you guys again, and I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye, guys.